John here guys and welcome back to another Friday frames in five minutes or less today with the mode 2 ghost now I have the regular racing edition here and the special edition the special edition is quite unique indeed but let's go over the standard version first this is a super ultra lightweight frame design um, that was very much popularized during the 2017 season, I believe is when it first came out. And this was heavily used well into the 2018 and even the beginnings of the 2019 season. Um, during this time period, I was kind of flying a lot more flosses than, than this. But uh, I was always very curious because I believe this actually saved a few grams worth of weight. Um, it has some very uh, aggressive protruding motor protection spikes out there that should keep um, those motors safe in a very hard high speed gate hit. It also has a very lightweight um, top plate, but unlike the original floss, it allowed you to have still four standoffs. Um, so that you weren't blocking your um, power cable coming out the rear. Um, and then also to reduce the wiggles, this um, was ahead of its time because it had a two uh, or a single arm design where the arms actually met in the middle. And as you can see, like it's very hard to wiggle these arms. There's very little play in there. Um, you can reduce or increase the height of these standoffs in order to get a taller or shorter um, stance depending on what type of stack components you are going to use uh, this frame was flown by Johnny fly I understand for a long time and whether you were a floss guy or a mode 2 ghost guy is kind of like being like a Mustang guy or a Camaro guy right you this was you know definitely uh, made for pure performance and speed and easily replaceable arms uh, uh, for sure and one way that it was a little bit ahead of its time is you can see that the arm screws are completely separate from the stack screws so you could replace an arm on this by swapping out two screws and not having to disturb your stack whatsoever but I also have the special edition here check this thing out guys this is covered in a very outstanding sort of a sparkly holographic blue um, covering on each of the top and bottom of the carbon also have a nylon 3d printed pod wow very aggressive very awesome i have a variety of, of 3d printed parts here camera holder um you know antenna holder for the rear right there uh, for both a stubby or a regular sort of an axi which were the most popular antennas for racing I also have a little um, <laughs> differently designed in the standard version top plate right here, which is really, really cool. Um, this top plate is actually meant to run the standoffs all the way in the center for very aggressive styling. So you can go with the pot or the top plate and um, a very awesome little GoPro mount if you wanted to get some HD footage on the racetrack, uh, which I often neglect to do but it's really cool for your racing videos to have that. So this is quality print. I'm not sure who printed this, uh, probably Brain. If I had to guess, it's, it's quite high quality. Um, so what do you guys think? Should this be on the list to build up and fly? Is this a museum piece? Should it go on my wall? <laughs> um, with some of the newer frames out there, um, are these still relevant? And I would have to say yes, you could absolutely build one of these up, take it to the racetrack, and you know, get a podium finish if you have the skills to pay the bills. Um, yeah, thanks guys.